We are a dedicated team of hardcore outdoor enthusiasts committed to conserving hunting and fishing traditions. Although technology changes, we still strive to entertain the everyday outdoors. If you like fast-paced, hardcore southern hunting and fishing action, keep up with us and hold on. We are 704 Outdoors. Outdoors TV show is brought to you by Barefoot Archery, North Carolina's leading archery dealer since 1966. What's happening guys? It's been an awfully warm, warm winter this year. Um, been having a little bit of trouble getting on some hogs, but uh, we've got a pretty good pack uh, going on at this location. We're down here in the southern part of North Carolina. Been bait in this area for quite some time and uh, finally had a good pack of hogs move in. There's one hog that we're really after to see that he's a huge boar. Big old boar. Got good cutters on him. Um, he's definitely our target for this evening. We're going to be shooting Project Precision this evening too to see the .5 creep on. We're going to see how this, this uh, round does with a mature one wild hog. We just got done on this project with installing the Lancer Systems handguard and Patriot Valley Arms barrel nut. There's more coming to this build. I hope y'all are following it. If you haven't been, go to our YouTube channels. Check out Project Precision and plus there's several, several clips of, un of footage that you hadn't seen that uh, might not come on TV show. Go check out our YouTube channel. All right, guys. Well, we just got in the stand. Um, put a little bucket of bait out there just to freshen it up. Pull the camera card. We're gonna check them on the phone real quick. Uh, make sure these hogs are coming in here. Uh, it looked like there was some fresh hog signs, so it rained pretty hard last night. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure they've been in here. I'm just gonna confirm on my phone. Let's come in. Uh, 
to the right shooting lane under the feeder. I hadn't seen hogs under that feeder in about a year, but they did this time. Uh, pretty windy. I don't know if they caught wind or something, but uh, they left out. It's just the piglets. Only pictures I got of this big hog at this location from about 6.30 on. So, I don't think anything's hurt by any means. I think we're going to be seeing them about that time. So we got about a three hour set. This segment is brought to you by Black Butterfly Ammunition. Elegant designs for wicked destruction. What's up guys? Well, uh, shot the pig, gave it quite a bit of time, um, actually went to town, picked up my buddy Preston, um, 
that run the camera and help me find this pig. A big boar like this, you don't want to just charge in right after you shoot one. Otherwise, you might end up with some stitches in your leg. But anyway, we found some good blood right here. Um, I don't think he's going to be too far back up in here. Looks like this old 6.5 Creed proved itself so far. Um, whenever you got good blood on a mature hog like that, you're doing pretty good. So, let's see if we can get in here and find him. Alright guys, well, we're definitely on some blood right here. I don't think he's going to be too much further up here. Oh man, look at that. Like he was coming through here charging pretty hard. Cutter caught the tree. So he definitely got a cutter on him, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, ELDX bullet from Hornady. He put a hurting on him. Alright, fresh. Hey, look at that. There he is. That's the exit hole. Bullet well, went right through, no problems. Looked like he broke a cutter on this side. Let's see what this other side looks like. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Of course, he'd tear something up, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some good cutters on that hog. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, now we get the fun part of dragging this big boy out of here. Nice hog. Well, we'll get him on out of here, and uh, we'll get him on home. And We'll talk about this hunt a little bit and uh, Project Precision, what we used to kill this hog with, and, uh, and how this hunt turned out. So I'll see y'all at the house. All right, guys. Well, you can see we got him out of the woods. Um, we're at the house right now, getting ready to uh, skin this animal. Probably one of my better boars I've ever killed. He's probably hitting around the 250 pound range, maybe a little better. Um, got some nice cutters up front, good mature boar. Um, had these hogs, they came in about a week ago, week and a half ago to this property. And uh, my cameras caught pictures of this big boy. And of course, my mind was set to uh, go after him. And that's exactly what happened this evening. Uh, just a good textbook hunt. Um, hogs came in right just right after dark. He presented us a good broadside shot. We took it. Project Precision, took a shot of Hornady ELDX 143 grain down range and uh, connected with a perfect shot right through the vitals of this boar. Put out a good blood trail. He didn't run about 35 yards and a 6.5 Creedmoor caliber. Great caliber, a lot of people question it and, and what, what it has to offer in the hunting world. And I'm gonna tell you what, I, I think I proved this was the test for me uh, with the, the 6.5 Creedmoor, a good mature hog, shooting it in the vitals, and ensuring that it put out a good blood trail, and it did so. So if you haven't checked out on our YouTube channel, 704 Outdoors, it's called Project Precision. Check out this hunt. Not only are we capable of shooting animals at long distances, but also short distances, as this was only about a 90 yard shot. And uh, that's what we were after here, is to build a versatile hunting machine and we are still in the stages of building it. So make sure you get over there and check it out and uh, see, see what it has to offer. You know, this might be something that you are looking to do as well. And uh, if so, this would be a great thing for you to watch and learn from as I've done so for sure. So I hope y'all enjoyed this hunt as much as I did. Uh, and let's uh, get this thing skinned out and get this skull over to DNK Skull Mouse. Man, my walls are filling up. 
see y'all next time, 704 Outdoors.